Carlisle fired by the Ducks. GM, I think it's Bob Murray, taking over as interim coach. Uh, right here at Talking Halves with Rick. So this is going to be about that story. Just po- it just emerged this afternoon, so I thought I'd report on it. I do the NHL as well. Not only the big stories, firings, trades. So Habs fans, don't be discouraged. It's just because I'm, I'm reporting the big stories. Okay, so before we get to that, uh, please uh, subscribe and ring the bell down there. Uh, that'll notify you of all my videos. I'd also like to know what you guys think of this, that uh, he fired uh, Carlisle and he's going to take over as interim coach. Apparently they're not going to hire anybody till next year. So you can do that by leaving a comment in the comment section. I appreciate when you do that and I read them and I answer. Um, okay, so... Um, Oh, don't forget, my Facebook watchers, I appreciate you watching. And you can come on over and subscribe and ring the bell, too. I would really appreciate that. Okay, so now we'll get to it. I'm just going to make some points, I guess, that I've, I was reading up about it. So I'm not too intimate knowing about the Ducks and everything, but I did a little research. So um, after the Leafs job and the Ducks job now, and the way it turned out, Carlisle probably done in the NHL as a coach, a uh, commentator maybe, but uh, as a coach... I think he's done. I don't. I don't think both jobs ended very well, uh, and in in ways that I don't think he'll get any offers. Uh, the Ducks just not good enough as well. So it's not totally Carlisle's fault. That's what I'm hearing, but he kind of gave up at the end. Oh, I make a point about that. So I'll go back. I don't want to lose my points. Um, also, bad management decisions too. I think uh, um, were a big part of the problem, and that's on that's Jim Murray's part. And I think he's kind of admitting that. He's taking over and seeing what he can do, I guess. I don't know. Uh, weird situation there. Uh, the last time, wasn't it the last time, was Bob Gainey that took over from Guy Carbono? I haven't seen that done in a long time. Uh, Ducks fans must be frustrated as hell at this kind of situation that's going on there and that they, they're not going to go out right away and get a replacement. Apparently, Murray, Murray will be the interim coach till next year, and... Um, Apparently they're going to wait to get Dallas Eakins. I'm not sure why they got to wait to get him, but they're apparently they're going to so they're going to wait. So they're just not going to do anything and hire anybody real. I guess I don't know if Murray's ever coached before. I guess he has. So it's kind of sucky if you're uh, if you're a Ducks fan and they're not really trying to improve the rest of the season. I mean, it's not like they're totally out of it. They were when they played us. They were only three points out of a uh, wild card. Um, apparently. <laughs> And it might have been in our game, uh, Getzlaff was telling Carlisle to pull the goalie when they needed to, and Carlisle would be like, uh, yeah, whatever, no, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. And then it's like, uh, well, you know what, you set it up, okay, just take him out, whatever. And I mean, that's just bad, he kind of gave up, you know. Um, and apparently the Ducks, fire, the Ducks players have wanted him fired for months, so he, he, like, he's lost the room for the last couple of months. Uh, now here's a point that might affect us is will they be sellers of the deadline and will we be able to deal for Fowler because we kind of figure that's why uh, Bergevin was scouting them so maybe this opens the door to make it easier to get Fowler um, yeah I don't know so that's an interesting question and if you want uh, that's a question uh, do you think this might make it a little easier for us to get Fowler and how do you feel about that and obviously in the comment section below yeah, so that's it. I just wanted to let you know what happened. So please like and subscribe, ring the bell. Appreciate that. Uh, that'll notify you of all my videos. la di da 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 right? Uh, the questions I just asked, you can leave the comments in the comment section, and I'll answer them if you ask me a question, and I always read any comments. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Facebook watchers, thank you very much. Come on over, check it out. And there's going to be a video up there that you can check out. I appreciate that, and thank you, as always, for watching me right here at Talking Habs with Rick, the number one hockey channel. I doubt it. Okay, have a good one. Bye.